Hey everyone, it's me, Cynthia. Welcome back to Inspiro. Today we're gonna talk about my fave sustainable loungewear and activewear pieces. It's been a while since I've done like a video on this and I don't know about you, but I have only been wearing casual loungewear for the past like year and a bit. I'm sure everyone at home now also feels the same way. So I hope that this video can help you if you've been looking for new loungewear and activewear, but want to make sure that you're buying something ethically made and that is sustainability minded. So I'm gonna have timestamps below and and also links to all the brands that I mentioned. Just a quick preface and disclaimer that the most sustainable pieces are the ones that you already own or the ones that your friends own or the ones that have already been produced and made. So try to swap with your friends, try to buy secondhand, use, thrift, all these apps. It's usually more affordable and it's better for the planet that way. But I also know that sometimes you just want a specific style or you want a matching sweatsuit in a specific pattern. Just a reminder to shop consciously and intentionally and make sure that you only buy ones that you're gonna love and wear for a really long time. Please follow me on Instagram if you haven't yet, it's at Inspiro. If you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love for you to stick around and subscribe, hit that notification bell. But yeah, let's dive in. First off is this set by Bathbeat Co. You would have seen me wear this a ton in my vlogs and I honestly wear this set like four times a week because it's just so comfortable and it is really warm as well and Bathby Co is an LA based Filipino woman owned brand they offer extra small to 2x which I think is pretty good especially because they're like a smallish mediumish brand and they use responsible low impact fabrics so a lot of recycled fabrics organic fabrics I think most if not all of their factories are based in LA so it's super localized and the founder also can pop into the factory so like check in on things so these are their adventure joggers and i got these in like the olive green because i just love green on my skin tone i wear a medium in both of these this is the reversible uh crop bra top i think this is the one that's a bit longer they also have one that's like a little bit shorter and i really just love like how comfortable and warm these pieces are because they are a little bit thicker so perfect for me to just lounge around i don't have to really throw an extra sweater over this and they recently launched i think four new colors in this jogger and um crewnecks as well so you can get like matching sweatsuit combo and i really love the tie-dye one i think they also have a really nice like dusty blue and a really nice like yellow they just look super comfy i'm definitely eyeing them but i know that because i already have this set i don't need another one you know but also i'd like to change it up since i literally wear this in like half my zoom calls with my team because they are shipping out of la there are duties so just be conscious of that it's usually around like twenty dollars these next few pieces are by a brand called marie young which i've talked about a ton on this channel but they are woman-owned toronto-based all their factories are ethical and local and i think they also source their fabrics locally in toronto as well so a super localized supply chain which i love i think most of their pieces are made out of bamboo which is a low impact more responsible fabric and if you watch my first sustainable brand snow video i also showed the bodysuit for mary young i love all the intimates that they have so if you're looking for a bodysuit or more like sexy intimates and lingerie i highly recommend checking them out i also recently got the wallace crop and the bike short combo um because i really wanted another set since i wear this so often i always forget which brands i have codes with so i'll try to leave them on the screen or have them linked below as well so check out the description box because i just can't remember <laughs> so the next one i'm just gonna skim over briefly but you guys all know these joggers these are like the first pair of joggers that i bought after two years of hunting for like the perfect sustainable jogger but these are by base range and i bought them through new classics which is a woman of color owned brand that kind of like sources different sustainable brands and they are alberta based so in canada so i highly recommend checking out new classics probably tired of seeing this set but i wear this so often like this is my other go-to if I don't want to wear um, the olive colored one, but the crop top from Marie Young and then these joggers. Brief summary of base range, they do small batch. They're based in Europe. They produce out of Spain. I think their office is also in Spain. Um, so it's like they try to really localize their supply chain as well, which I really like um, so that they can do frequent check-ins at the factories and make sure that shipping isn't like around the world and everything. Um, and this is also organic cotton. So really low impact and mindful fabric. So check that out. All of the pieces in this video are made ethically and there are ways to check on that. So I don't want to spend the video going through like all the certifications and stuff. There have been days where it's been super cold in my place because it gets like negative 20 outside. So I like to throw this fleece on top of my joggers and I really love the like black and white combo. Um, so this, so I just want to quickly mention is the Eco Loft 
fleece from Tentry, and this is made out of 100% recycled polyester. I love this because it's super warm, and I was looking for this like fleecy material for a while. Um, I got this in a size large, I think, yeah. So it's like a bit oversized, but I really like this because it's super cozy, and again, just looks a bit more elevated. So if you don't want to look too casual, especially in Zoom calls, I tend to wear this and like my black set. A little bit about Tentry, if you don't know, they plant a lot of trees. I really like that they rank really well for their B Corp certification. So I'll leave that linked down below with all of the resources that you need to know. They also have their eco log that measures their impact. And for them, because they have planted so many trees, I think it's like 50 million already, um, that really offsets a lot of their impact. It's great that they have planted so many trees, but just be wary when brands say like, we plant trees for every purchase because that's not enough. So it's good to look into more of their supply chain, more of like the fabrics they use, more of what they plan to do in the future. But that is a quick note, just a quick Pengai update. I mean, I have been wearing like the joggers specifically because these are the only sweatpants that I own. The other two are more joggers. When I want to be super warm, I do still wear these. I'm still not really comfortable saying that I support Pangaea because I posted about this on um, Instagram too. I have the story still up if you want to see the highlight of everything that happened, but it just feels icky supporting a brand where the money supports a founder that I don't think has done enough to apologize and do the work for anti-racism and for her like transphobic, homophobic, racist past. Um, and I really, really don't like the lack of silence around this and like her inability to really address it and like incorporate it into her life, especially as a leader of this company. So that's where I stand, but I'm probably going to sew like a little line through it, maybe with like a really bright um, thread. I feel like that'd be really fun, but I do still wear it because I bought it and it was really expensive. <laughs> Um, so I'm just like torn with that. The other update that I wanted to share was about the colors and the dyes. A few of you mentioned this in my review too, um, where I had this laying out in direct sun for a few hours because I forgot to like put it away in my closet and this is what happened. So you can see where it's lighter. That's where like it was almost scrunched up like this, right? So the sun like made these parts lighter and then this is like the original color. In terms of washing, if you follow the hand washing instructions and you just keep this stored not in direct sunlight, you'll be okay because this is plant dyes, right? But now I'm just left with some really weird like coloring on the butt. Before I dive into the activewear and girlfriend because they also have loungewear, I wanna quickly finish up with these loungewear pieces, this crew neck and this hoodie from Artists Untold. So Artists Untold helps black and minority artists um, I guess share their art and their designs and through merch, through posters. I think it's really important to continue amplifying black businesses. So I love it. You can get loungewear that has these really gorgeous um, prints and artwork that supports these artists and also supports a small black owned business. And I think it's really important to continue doing that and amplifying these people. But I do want to say that they do print merch. So a lot of the times the blanks are by Gildan or etc. Some of their pieces are made out of recycled cotton and they also plant a tree for every purchase so I do really like that. I just wanted to quickly note that with them so in terms of sustainability they can definitely do more in the future but I think focusing on supporting black artists and a black owned business is also really important which is why I wanted to shout them out. I love this print so much. This is by the artist Shy the Artist on Instagram. Check them out. I love the colors. I love how peaceful this is and I think it's just really pretty and you can choose choose like the color of the blank that it goes on. So this on pink and on the baby blue is also really gorgeous, but I really wanted a white crew neck because I don't have one. And I find that it's really hard to thrift like white crew neck specifically. I don't know what it is. Like they're always like non-existent at the thrift stores and I've tried for like three years. <laughs> this one, I don't think you've seen yet, but I absolutely love this too because it's super colorful. Um, and it says to, faced on it, which I really, really like. 
And, and the artist behind this print is called Aylin Itzelmina Ermena, and I really loved reading about her story too. I think she's Afro-Dominican. Next is my workout set from Girlfriend, which also has loungewear and sweatsuits now, which I've been waiting to order. I talked about Girlfriend at time. They are one of my favorite brands because they're size inclusive, gender inclusive. They have really great like production processes in their supply chain. I love that they also have their take back program, which actually recycles your leggings, breaks them down into fiber, and makes new leggings out of them. Quick sustainability note on that, truly circular recycling versus a lot of greenwashing brands like H&M, let's say they have a take-back program, but your like clothes are just made into like washcloths or something, which doesn't really keep the value, and that is still technically a linear economy. I've talked about this specific activewear set before, so I'll link to the video where I talk more about it, and they have like bike shorts now too, and I love their sweatsuit combos. If you're looking for a sweatsuit combo and you're based in somewhere not in Canada right now, I would highly recommend ordering from them. Um, I did go on their site recently though and noticed that they say they'll be shipping to Canada again soon, Soon, so fingers crossed. They're still one of my top favorite brands, so check them out. Next is my Activewear set from Organic Basics, which is another brand I've talked about. I have the review video of both Organic Basics and Girlfriend, so I'll leave that linked below. Um, but I love this set for my lower impact workouts, where Girlfriend is for my higher impact workouts. But I love this color, this blue on me, and it also doesn't really slip too much. So that's why I like wearing this for stretching and yoga. A little bit about Organic Basics, they are UK based, B Corp certified. They are carbon neutral, which I think is amazing. They use recycled and low impact fabrics like recycled polyester, tinsel, organic cottons. I also really do love their silver tech technology that's in their activewear and basically what it does is help minimize the odor so you don't have to wash them as much and i have actually found it make a really big difference i've also been loving this lounge set from organic basics and i didn't have any loose fitting shorts to wear so that's why i really wanted to get this it's like almost like boxer shorts, which I think is super comfortable. Sometimes bike shorts are just like super constrictive, especially if you want to do like a movie marathon or you just want to like chill and like wear loose comfy clothing. So that's why I picked this up. It has pockets. I just love how it's super loose and comfy and it has the matching t-shirt as well. And you can see how soft and flowy it is. And the set is made with Tencel and it's like the TM Tencel. I don't really know what TM stands for, but it's like the legit Tencel. Quick sustainability note on that. A lot of fast fashion and mass market brands are producing with Tencel and the Tencel TM one is produced in a closed loop system. So reusing the water and like like the like non-toxic chemicals and whatever that go into that process and it's fully biodegradable but a lot of these like fast fashion brands have been using Tencel and I think there's one that isn't like the actual brand Tencel if that makes sense this is so hard to articulate because it's made out of wood pulp when brands like Zara or H&M mass produce using Tencel, I think it's a really, really big issue with deforestation and that's not good for the planet. Last activewear set is by a brand called Woven, which a lot of you asked me for my thoughts on. Woven does have great options for activewear that's made out of recycled polyester that does perform well. I do wear these sets for my like high impact, high intensity workout strength training and stuff and I do really love the pockets. I specifically wanted bike shorts with pockets, but I do wanna say that in terms of a take back program and size inclusiveness, I will always recommend Girlfriend First, but if you are like really, really wanting a activewear set, they do ship to Canada right now. In that case, I would say, as long as you're gonna wear the set for a really long time, I think it's okay, but I do think in terms of sustainability, Girlfriend is the one that I'd always recommend first. The one thing I would highly recommend from Woven though is their microfiber wash bag because it is such a large size and it's the most affordable one that I've found. You have activewear or really any synthetic like clothing that you have, they shed microplastics when you wash them. You can get a filter, I think Girlfriend sells a filter that you can attach to like your washer machine but mine is old so <laughs> i have this wash bag every time i wash my workout clothes i will throw them into the bag and this fits like all of 
the sets that I wear on like a bi-weekly basis when I do my laundry. So I do like that there's still room to throw in any synthetic pieces that I have, like my thrifted sweaters that are polyester or something. I'll make sure to also include them in this bag. So if you've been looking for a microfiber bag, this is something I'd recommend getting from Woven. And there you have it. This has been a very long video, but I hope that you enjoyed and that it was helpful. Again, everything is going to be linked down below. I'll probably also whip out a blog post so that it's easy to have everything there too. So check that out. And if I have any discount codes for these pieces, I'll have them linked in the description box too if you are interested in buying as a way to support me. But again, always no pressure. There are some brands that I have been eyeing that are on my website wish list too like these ones i'll try to put them on my screen maybe i'll do another video on like my wish list loungewear items but i think this video is already too long so let me know if you'd be interested in something like that i just haven't bought from them because i don't really need more loungewear activewear so i want to make sure that if i do get more it's stuff that i actually actually like really really love i hope that you enjoyed this video and you got some options and alternatives if you have been looking to buy more loungewear and activewear. Please follow me on Instagram if you haven't yet, it's at Inspiro. If you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love for you to stick around and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone.